Okay, now, slight warning. I haven't adjusted the audio settings for Assassin's Creed 2 yet, so it might be slightly loud when we first start it up. I will try to change the uh, change the sound settings as soon as possible. But let's begin. Uh, hi YouTube, let's begin our Assassin's Creed 2 playthrough because this is the same stream as the Assassin's Creed 1 playthrough if you're confused. Um, <laughs> which is why there's no like music introduction or whatever, but let's do it. I've played through this game at least three times, I believe, and I've perfected it on PlayStation 4. But we're doing an entire series stream through, so we gotta play through this one again. And honestly, it's a pleasure to play through again, so I'm happy to. I'm looking forward to having literally just now finished Assassin's Creed 1, jumping into Assassin's Creed 2 and seeing all the improvements. Obviously there will be bigger graphical improvements than there should be because it's a remaster, although the remaster isn't very good on that front. but. We won't worry about that too much. Want to see something that's kind of a bummer? Um, oh, achievements aren't supported because it's stupid like that on Xbox. But uh, <laughs> I've been having this glitch lately where it doesn't think achievements are supported. But yeah, the entire Ezio collection is one collection of achievements for 3000 Gamer Score. Crash Bandicoot's the same. Whereas on PlayStation, they have their separate platinum uh, trophies. They have their separate listings. And the reason that's annoying is because it's super easy to get all the achievements in... I don't know why it's ordered this way, but sure. Um, it's super easy to get 100% on Assassin's Creed 2. But it's not super easy to get 100% on Assassin's Creed Brotherhood or Revelations, because they want you to do a whole bunch of extra crap inside of missions, which are really hard to do. Uh, but we're not going to worry about 100%ing this. We're just going to play through the story. So, uh, as a Ubisoft Club member... You are eligible to get exclusive content, blah, 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 blah. Should I quickly claim that? Who knows if we'll come across it in game. Ubisoft Connect, making every game just as mediocre as you'd expect. I already have everything, weirdly. I've never opened this game before. Is it because I've done this on the same account on PS4? Does it have, like, cross-progression for Ubisoft rewards? That's really weird. Um, but yes, let's begin, obviously, with Assassin's Creed 2. Who's ready to be born? Oh wait, we have to escape the Abstergo place first, don't we? <gasps> spoilers, I'm giving away spoilers. I should shut up. Again, I'm sorry if it's slightly loud, I'll try and turn it down as soon as possible. But now we get to be Ezio Auditore da Florence. It's me. Okay, cool. We can turn down the audio from... Oh, this. Just this menu makes me nostalgic. Oh, wow. Look at these options we have. Thanks, guys. I better be able to turn down the volume later. Uh, I don't know why it lets us name our save. Let's go for... Uh, I have a few go-to stupid names that I like to name my profiles. Today we're going for Squelchy Butt Farts. Uh, with a Z. There we go. That's our name. We're not Desmond, we're Squelchy Butt Farts. Hi Desmond. Wow. Oh, fuck. <gasps> New music.
Bye, Lucy. Thanks to the Primer Desmond. Oh, we're not done. <laughs> so melodramatic, I love it. Alright. So yeah, the, uh, the remastered graphics are a bit goofy, unfortunately. Oh, it literally picks up where we left off. Interesting. It has been two years since I last played this game. I don't remember every single thing about it. Hi, you look different. <laughs> yeah, look at the faces. They're all dopey. Look at his dumb face. I mean, it looks better than what we just saw, but it's... Mm, the faces are a kind of a downgrade compared to the original in a few ways. They just look weird. All right, let me double check the volume again. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. Uh, let's eyeball this. Uh, hopefully this is okay. Action camera frequency? I don't remember what that's about. Uh, but yeah, hopefully that's a little a little better. Because the problem with uh, a couple of streams ago is like the volume would be perfect for just walking around a city, but when I got into combat situations, it would be you you would have to struggle to hear my voice above it. Volume mixing, it's so fun. It's funny how you can tell they got way more budget. <laughs> Just that conversation having animations is already an upgrade. I don't remember this part. I thought we literally just ran immediately. Wow. You forget a lot in two years. And this is the first time we see the Subject 617 stuff as well. Searching for relevant memory data. Oh yeah, don't we literally just like do this and then get out? Or are we get born first and then we leave, don't we? Yep, we're being born. Just just keep in mind Desmond is experiencing this from Ezio's point of view. Poor guy. This must be so weird. Oh, there he is. Our protagonist. Wiggle. 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 Armed hand. Okay. I'm not armed yet, game. But sure. <gasps> I didn't turn desktop audio on. I'm so sorry. Glad I double checked. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't have your desktop audio on until now. I knew I'd forgotten something. <laughs> Luckily, he didn't miss too much. Get up. So, what did Lucy say while she was muted? Uh, basically, just uh, we need to hurry up and get out of here and all that stuff. Oh, hey, I've been born. There you go. Twenty game of school. Get born. <laughs> That's nice. Um, yeah, and there was a whole opening cutscene where Desmond was talking about like I'm Desmond Miles and this is my story, and he's talking about the events of the previous game, which. It's fairly lucky because I've already streamed the previous game and I actually had the volume up when I was playing the previous game. I hope. <laughs> All right, let's continue. Yeah, well, I'm gonna need a second. There isn't time, Desmond. <laughs> we have to leave. Hold on, Lucy. I just got born. I've got some stuff to process. Okay, let's go. Hey, look, you can run in this room now. Quality of life update, much? Uh, really getting out of here, huh? Hang on, actually, is there a subtitles option? Ah, uh, yes, there is. I missed it. 
Sturgo's got some fucked up interior decorating. <gasps> Language con- uh, why did I call him Connor? <laughs> Assassin's Creed 3 much. Hey! You're not supposed to be up here! Open this That'll be our door. next blind playthrough, I'm by the way. It in. We have a breach in the research wing. I repeat, there's been a breach in the research Follow wing. Me. Oh, shut up. Requesting backup from all available nice security- walls. Fancy. Why they there they are! Don't let them get away! <laughs> 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 Damn. Holy shit. Oh yeah, who's ready for an entire game's worth of uh, Desmond being like, wow, I can't believe this is happening. Because that's his character out for the next game. What about the cameras? I rigged them to loop old footage. How do you think I managed to hide all your nighttime snooping from Abstergo? So I always thought that line meant that in Assassin's Creed 1 he did a lot of nighttime snooping in terms of the gameplay, but he didn't. That's probably another reason why I was looking to make sure I wasn't missing anything in the Desmond sections. You're good. So I've been told. But they're on to us now. We need to hurry. Uh, I can't run anymore. Careful. That would be why. Isn't this used as like the multiplayer in like Brotherhood or something? This area. That we like... need to get to that elevator on the other side of the room. Follow my lead, but keep an eye out for security. I'd rather avoid a fight. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's like Animus is around, and like the whole story of the multiplayer of Brotherhood is you're literally an employee working here, and you're like training in the Animus. Hold on. I wonder if they had any cut plans for multiplayer in this game, man. Because they were kind of setting it up. How many of them are there? Careful. Is it animuses or animi? What do you think, Lucy? Desmond, shut the hell up. Lucy, what do they need with all of them? Desmond. Well, that was easy. I thought this card would work. It must be on a separate system, and I don't have the code. I like how there was no swearing in the previous game, but there's swearing all over this one. It's like they decided, ah, uh, you know what, I don't know what the actual age rating for this game is, but it's like they were going, ah, uh, you know what, we're going to be a 15, or we're going to be an 18. Let's just, let's just add swearing to be even cooler. Wait. Shit. Oh, come on. How did you do that? I don't know. Let's go. I'm the protagonist. It's always something. What was that in the Animus? Subject 16? Ezio, Audi, Audi something? It's Ezio, we've been wrong you uncultured all swine. That's why we need to get out of here. Vidic and the Templars, they're only part of the problem. What do you mean? I'll explain when we get there. Get where? Oh shit. Who's ready for some bleeding effect combat? Hell yeah. Fuck him up. <laughs> Desmond got the moves. <laughs> I love how when you grapple someone they're like, Oh god no, what's he gonna do with me? The combat's so simple in this section, it's just spam X. So obviously we haven't tutorialized you yet. But I guess that kind of makes sense for Desmond, right? He This is like his first real taste of combat in real life. Aw oh, man, kicking him in the nuts, that's that's beyond the line, Desmond. That's just rude. Has that become my catchphrase, by the way, calling things rude? Get in. You're joking. It's for your own protection. Oh man. Yeah, and what if you get shot and we crash? Why couldn't he just lie down in the back seat or something? Oh yeah, this little loading screen. <laughs> I forgot about this. Arrivederci, Abstergo. Hell yeah. Gamer score. Oh, I'm so excited to be playing this game again. Great. 
shove in the trunk, bouncing around. Love this it. way. So, gonna tell me what's going on now? There was a reason for the escape, Desmond. Figures. We need your help. For what? Another treasure hunt through time? Abstergo's gonna replace their Apple of Eden. The map your ancestor found guarantees it. The other assassins, they'll do what they can, where they can, but... What? What is it? We're losing this war, Desmond. The Templars are too powerful. And every day, more of us die. I still don't see how I fit into things. We're going to train you. Get a protagonist. You. Turn you into one of us. What? No. No, you've seen me in action. I'm no good at this. And even if I was, it would take months. Years even. No, I'm a fish out of water, don't you animus. understand? Not with the bleeding effect. But I'm just one guy. Sometimes, that's all you need. Yeah. So that's why you found him. You, you saw ancestor. Assassin's Creed 1, right? What was his name? Ezio? If you can follow in his footsteps, you'll learn everything he did, just like he did. Okay, so Years that soundtrack training, absorbed in a matter of days. It's kind of quiet, but that kind of... I don't even know what to call it. I think I've mentioned this in a clip before, but... There's something about that soundtrack, which you now can't hear because I've paused the game, but I don't want to interrupt the dialogue. That reminds me of a Midnight Club 2 menu theme. It's such a random, specific memory tie-in, but I guess they use similar kind of sounds. Broke me out of Abstergo and brought me here just to make me an assassin? Look, there's more to it than that, but it'll have to wait. Trust me, okay? All right, I'm in. Tell me what you need. Really? You're sure? I thought you'd be happy about this. Sorry, I'm just a little surprised. I spent the whole ride over here figuring out how I was going to convince you to do this. Save it. After what those Templar <laughs> bastards put me through, I'm ready, willing, and able. It might just be because I've played this game several times, but this entire storyline just feels so cheesy. So, what's the word? Generic mid 2000s action fish out of water dude story, you know? Thank you. But I guess gaming didn't have a lot of like actual serious stories in it at the time, so I can kind of forgive it a little bit. Lucy, you made it. God, it's been so long. Seven years. Can you believe it? Indeed. Welcome back. Ah, so this must be the oh, infamous no. Subject 17. I forgot about him. Desmond Miles, was it? He's so sorry. Who are you? I'm sorry, where are my manners? I'm Sean Hastings. This is Rebecca Crane. Nice to meet you, Desmond. Right, well, it's been lovely chatting, but if you don't mind, Desmond, it's best we get straight to work. Time is precious. Doubly so these days. We've got everything set up and ready, Lucy. Just say the word and we'll get going. Here, I brought you something. A parting gift from Abstergo. Whoa! The memory core! This is amazing! With their data, things are gonna go a lot faster. I'll get to work on merging the code. Whoever wrote Sean Hastings, I wish they had like turned it down by maybe two or three. It's okay to have a Saki guy, but he's like sarcasm personified. It's like his only personality trait, at least in this game. I can't remember if he gets better later or not. Um Hi everyone. I don't think there's any achievements for talking to people in this one, but again, I'm not going for an achievement run. Hey Desmond, what's up? Just wondering what your role is in all this. I guess I have to I talk to him anyway. I take care of baby. It's my job to keep her up and running. Baby? You mean the Animus? Actually, I prefer Animus 2.0, since baby's twice as awesome as anything you'll find at Abstergo. The Templars might have deeper pockets than us, but they've got no ambition, no passion, no competitive edge. That's why. Even with all their resources, anything they can do, I can do better. Faster, too. Anyway, take a seat when you're ready, and we can get started. Yes, please. I just please. need to make a few more adjustments. Also, don't take a seat when I'm ready. Got it. I'll go talk to Lucy, and she'll tell me to bugger off. Hey, listen. I just wanted to say thank you. And uh, I'm sorry. Or not. Sorry? Yeah, you know, before. Everything at Abstergo. It was just... I wasn't ready. It's okay. No. Going through all that. Knowing that the Templars still exist. What they're planning. What's done is done, Desmond. You're here now, and that's what matters. Cool. Uh, I'm pretty sure if I talk to her again, she will tell me to bug her off. She'll be like, uh, I'm kind of busy. 
Let's go talk to Vasak. What's all this stuff for? This stuff, Desmond. Oh, this stuff is nothing special, really. This stuff. It's just the stuff that keeps our entire operation from falling apart, really. It requires a great deal of concentration to keep it all moving, so you'll forgive me if I don't have time to play meet and greet. Sean's in charge of maintaining our knowledge archives. It's like a digital library. He'll be riding shotgun with me while you're in the Animus. So if you come across anything of note, people, places, events, etc., he'll create database entries you can consult for additional information. Yeah, it's not just databases, though. I also provide tactical support for the other assassins. You know, Desmond, the ones who are out there, actually doing stuff, risking their lives, little things like that. Wow. So what, you just want me to go out there without any training? Idiot. He's so... <laughs> annoying. <laughs> oh well. I think he does get better in later games, if I remember, though. Sorry, can't talk now. Uh, okay. Can I please sit in the Animus and do the video game things? Thank you. Take me to where the video game is. So how does this work? Of course. Deep breath. Ah! Oh, what are you, a tiny child? Sean! Well... I didn't have to get stabbed for Animus 1.0. How is this go. one better? Or maybe I did and I forgot. Ooh, shiny. Instead of just a kind of like grey blue haze now, we've got actual nice polished white shininess. <laughs> Here we go, Florence. Ugh, oh, this might be one of my favourite locations in video games. I say might be, it definitely is. Something worth paying attention to is the year, 1476. This story takes place over quite a long time. And it's easy to kind of miss that because the character doesn't really visibly age all that much. I think he does a tiny bit, but it's very subtle if it is. Let's do our tutorial beat him up. <gasps> there he is. Insieme per la vittoria! Insieme! Insieme! Insieme. Insieme. Silenzio, my friends! Silenzio! Grazie! Do you know what brings us here tonight? Honor. Viere de Pazzi slanders my family's name and forces his own miseries upon us. If we. Enough of your nonsense, Grullo! <gasps> oh shit. Buonasera, Viera. We were just talking about you. I'm surprised to see you here. I thought the Patsy hired others to do their dirty work. It's your family that cries for guards when there's trouble. Codardo. Oh, I like that. Codardo. things yourself. Your sister seemed quite satisfied with the handling I gave her earlier. Uccidetelo! <laughs> oh, wait, is this how he gets his scar? Yeah, I think that's how he gets his scar, right? Obviously the Scarlet's meant to mimic Desmond's, because Scars are genetic now. Uh, have you noticed, by the way, how Ezio's voice... I don't know if it's the voice actor doing it or if it's artificially done, but his voice is a lot higher than it is later on. These are things I noticed in my last playthrough, by the way. Oh right, the controls are going to be different now. Ah, oh, that UI. So much cleaner. Oh! Okay, that's a crash. Well... <laughs> Oh no, how much of that do we have to do again? Please tell me it auto-saved when we got any animals. Ah. Uh, perfect remaster, by the way. <laughs> Fuck's sake. That's the second game crash we've had. We've had... Wait, yeah, we've had a game crash, haven't we? I think I've got highlight about it. Oh boy. Please tell me we don't have to do that entire intro segment again. Yes, 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 I get it. Ubisoft made this. Let me in! Is it because I didn't lock onto him and the game was like, We thought you were going to lock onto him! Ah, uh, who knows what makes games crash. Uh, okay, thank fuck we don't have to do it all again. 
<laughs> I already forgot I named my profile Squatchy Butt Farts. Oh, I do make myself laugh. Someone has to. Someone has to laugh at my jokes. Use dead bodies to attract attention to a specific spot. Well, that's, uh, I wish you'd be a bit more specific about what you're doing to those dead bodies to attract attention. I guess you're just dropping them. Okay, head out to gutter, Christian. That's not even a gutter. That's the fucking sewers. Okay. Also, there's like no music in this loading screen, which is kind of weird. I feel like there's meant to be music. Run, Desmond, run! Wow, we are not utilizing the Series S's hardware capabilities to load this any faster, huh? Okay, lock on. There you go, I did what you asked. Don't crash this time, please. Oh, the combat's so much better immediately. Release me! <laughs> Release me! <laughs> Whoops, sorry. Yeah, it hasn't actually taught me how to counter yet, but luckily it does let me. Whoops, sorry. With the right timing to perform a combo, okay. Hey! Behind you! Federico! What are you doing here? I wanted to see if baby brother had finally learned how to fight. Oh, get fucked. And? <laughs> you have style. But endurance is what counts. Let's see how many of them you can ruin before they get the best of you. I will ruin them. Very handy that you wanted to test my endurance and then all of these dudes showed up. Alright, you want me to grab, okay. Hey, can you stop? It's very mean. Don't be punching. I was gonna say rude and I changed it to mean in the last moment. It is weird that they give them health bars, but there are punches that don't actually affect their health bar. <laughs> just kick him while he's down. I'm so honourable. Oh god, I just broke that man's neck, what the fuck? Hang on a second, that seems not meant to be killing these people, he's just meant to be punching them. Just straight up broke that man's neck, oh my god. Jeez. That was fucked up. But yeah, I remember. Okay, so the first time I played Assassin's Creed 2 would have been on the PS3. Would have been... Oh, God. I think it was before Assassin's Creed 3 came out? So that would have been... I want to say around 2009, 2010. I don't exactly have the release years in my head to just rattle off. But it was definitely of its time when I first played it. Hold on. What? We want us won this. But I picked up a lot more intricacies of the story when I played it a couple of years ago. Um, but I owned it on PS3. I played like maybe. Did I finish it? I think I might have finished it, but I didn't hundred percent it, so I didn't get the true ending. Then I played some of it on PC later, and then the PS4 playthrough a couple of years ago is where I really hundred percented it. Just a scratch. Let the doctor decide. It's not necessary. Besides, I've no money for this doctor of yours. <laughs> wasted it on women and wine, huh? I'd hardly call it wasted. Send me some floorings then. Uh, oh, you done floorings. The <laughs> Search them. <laughs> There's bound to be something in their pockets. Okay. Now this is kind of annoying. To loot enemies, it takes bloody ages. I guess. I guess it's not too bad actually, but. <laughs> Coming from Origins, where you literally just have to walk over them and press a button to loot them. It's, uh, it's a bit of a change. Don't mind me, just, uh, just robbing you while you're down. These men aren't moving, I think they might be dead. That should be enough. Let's get out of here before the guards arrive. Now, every character has a database entry, but I'm not going to be looking at them. 
But it is kind of cool because it's like, oh, here's, here's what actual historical documents we have about them. I'm pretty sure that's how that works anyway. Um, that might, actually, it might be fictitious now that I think about it. Because I know um, Ezio Auditore was a real person. He has like a Wikipedia entry, probably because of this game. But we know very little about him. I'm pretty sure he like vanishes after the events of the first act and is never heard from again. And that's kind of like what they used to be like, that's when he became an assassin or whatever. The sooner we're done with the doctor, the sooner we can sleep. That's what I remember. I might be wrong. All right, let's go find the doctor. Hope he has a TARDIS. <laughs> let's go. Ah, I love this game. I'm so excited to be playing it again. So yeah, this is going to be a bit of a different playthrough from Assassin's Creed 1 because while I've never really properly played that game before, this one I am obviously very familiar with and have very fond feelings of. It's one of my favourite games of all time. Uh, and actually, when I was playing it on PS4, I'll continue in a minute. Hmm, fratelli auditori, why am I not surprised? You've made quite a mess of yourself, young man. It's nothing, really. You must help him. That pretty face is his only asset. Forty tea. <laughs> Language hits you. There we are. Now get out of here. Grazie. So, um, this way. when I was playing my PS4 playthrough two years ago, I was going to try and platinum every game. Indeed. I only wish they were all as much fun. I did get stuck oh, halfway through Brotherhood. Great. They are. <laughs> so when we get to Brotherhood and Revelations, they'll be a bit fresher in terms of me re-experiencing them. Rather avoid a lecture. Up for a little race then? To where? Uh, roof of that church. Hell yeah. Let's do it. On the count of three. Uno, due, tre. They go this way, right? Yeah. I remember. Maybe brother still has much to learn. Mate, I'm a fucking on, parkour Captain master. Luka. You have no idea how much I played this game. Easy peasy, mate. Come on then, this way. Where are you going? You'll see. I wonder if he was being like trained to be an assassin or something and that's why he had these climbing skills that he passed on to Ezio. Or if it's just a coincidence that they happen to like climbing. It's never really said. It's a good life we lead, brother. <sighs> the best. May it never change. Up. And may it never change us. Ah, you had to say it. You had to go and say it. Now it's definitely going to change. The first time we ever hear Ezio's family theme. Get ready to hear this track. A lot. Enough of that. We really should head home. And it always slaps. What? Ezio, let Christina sleep. There will be time enough for that later. Ah. Uh. Oh, it's here. You sure were. Oh, right, yeah, we have to synchronize first. <laughs> I was just gonna fucking jump without doing that. I wish you could um, unlock this, like, young version of him as, like, an outfit to play in later, but I don't think you can. So it's Vieri. Better hide. Keep looking! He couldn't have gotten far! Wait, isn't that like a famous portrait as a stained glass window? I might be wrong. Ah, uh, yes, now you're teaching me about the. Uh... Wait, did we have a mini map? In Assassin's Creed 1? We didn't, did we? We just had like a general. compass. If I remember right. I might have already forgotten, <laughs> even though we played it literally an hour ago. Oh, it's you. I should have known. May I come in? Fine. 
but only for a minute. A minute is all I need. Indeed. Yeah, that should be a brag. Ah, <laughs> oh, the climbing is more fluid as well, immediately. Come here. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, no. Oh, I was swigging my drink. Oh, that's awkward. Oh. Uh, there you go. Pressing the undressing button. Wait, is that you seeing this one, or oh, is that Brotherhood? Um, nobody tell Twitch. Nobody tell YouTube, please. Okay, I think we get away with it in this one. Oh, I have to blow out the candle. <laughs> I keep going to take another swig of my drink. I'm ruining it to you night with Christy. Christina! Christina! Belia! Your tutor will be here soon. Come, my daughter. Is it really so terrible that... Figlio d'un cane! What is this? Perdonate, messere! Chiedo venia! I'll kill you! <laughs> no, no. That's not necessary. Guards! Guards! Voglio la sua testa! Take him down! There's really no need for violence. Oh, oh dear. He got caught. You have me confused with someone else. By the way, that's a, that's an interesting glitch. If you like mash B to try and grab onto a ledge while you're falling, you just kind of like glide a little bit. You may have seen it there. That's how familiar I am with this game. I know the intricacies so well. Uh, all right, tell you what, let's go get that viewpoint before we carry on because I like this part of the game. I'm not in a hurry to. Uh, Let's get to act two. Not in any hurry at all. Race is unlocked. Sweet, I hope I can be a night elf. Alright. Enough japes! There we go, we got the uh, view synchronization sound, which the first game did not have. Alright. I'm gonna be right back. Bear with me while I take a tinkle. Sorry, was that too much information? Well, now you know. Now you know where I'm going and what I'm doing. I have returned. So yeah, as I was saying earlier about um, playthroughs, I kind of muttered it because there was more dialogue, but um, halfway through Brotherhood and then Revelations, I won't have played since like 2015 or 16, so it'll be a bit more fresh as like of an experience. Uh, and then Assassin's Creed 3 will definitely be our next blind playthrough. I've played maybe the first hour or so of it. That's about it. Uh, okay. Where am I supposed to go now? 
God, they handled notoriety so much better in this game. Uh, has anyone seen my assistant? He was right here. Oh, whoops. There is a achievement for pickpocketing a bunch of people, but yeah, you kind of do it automatically now when you're fast walking. Although, I'm pretty sure you can get in trouble if you hang around after you do it. I might be wrong now. Oh, I'm just, I know I've already said it, but I'm just so happy to be back in this game. It's such an upgrade over the previous one as well. I think that's really um, compounding my uh, happiness here. It just, I mean, the remaster helps with the environments at least, if not the faces. Good morning, father. Come with me. Something wrong? Do you think me blind and deaf, son? I know all about your fight with Vieri di Pazzi last night. And then this little visit to Christina. Your behavior is unacceptable. It... It... It reminds me of myself when I was your age. I assume these misadventures won't interfere with your work today. No, padre. Avete la mia parola. I've prepared some documents here for Lorenzo Di Medici to review. I need them delivered to him. With haste, Father. Return to me when it's done. By the way, that reminds me, there is a Netflix series called Medici, which is based in Florence around this period of time. And I really like season one, but then in season two, they changed all of the cast, so I haven't I haven't given it a go because it just kind of annoyed me. I was excited as well because of um what's his face? Um uh, Jon Snow's brother in Game of Thrones, he was in it. Rob Stark. I forget the actor's name though. But sadly they completely changed. Let's read this letter. Al uh, magnifico Lorenzo di Medici, mio protettore e amico. I have done as requested and completed my investigation into the Milano incident. I can confirm for you that it extends far beyond dissatisfaction with Duca Galeazzo Sforza's rule. It is my belief that other parties, desirous of far greater gains, manipulated events in such a way as to achieve their goals without being revealed themselves. Oh, there's a lot to this one. Lampugnani, Olgiati, and Visconti are guilty of the crime, to be sure. And they have met fitting ends for their betrayal. But several other noble families are implicated as well, our own Francesco di Pazzi among them. Their cause and motive is not yet clear to me, but initial findings indicate a plan, the scope of which is sure to disturb you. Best we continue this conversation in person, as I am hesitant to put my suspicion to paper. Reply with a place and time, and I will meet you there. I have also ordered Francesco be held by the Gonfaloniere until we can clear up this matter. Yours in confidence, Giovanni. So yeah, it's worth mentioning as well, this story takes place nearly 300 years after Altair's time. Which is fun to consider. I'm trying to remember when Assassin's Creed Valhalla takes place. I think it's before Altair's time, or it might be slightly after. I like how this early in the game it's not guards we have to watch out for either, it's just a rival gang. It's funny, we're only the second game into the series and already it's like they've taken the base blueprint for Assassin's Creed and adapted it into something slightly different. Like, obviously when you think Assassin's Creed, this is mainly what you're going to think of. What's even available? Nothing. Yeah, I thought so. But, like, I guess if you, if you were playing Assassin's Creed 2 for the first time after playing 1, you'd be like, oh, they went harder into the historical stuff, it feels like. Like, assassins aren't, like, openly assassins yet, and stuff like that. Feels like a slight adaption of the ideas presented in the first game, you know what I mean? Let's grab this viewpoint while we're here. It's not quite as much of a chore now that we can just kind of, like, get a, get a quick climb going. It's also not as much of a chore as it is in... Assassin's Creed Origins sometimes because viewpoints are up entire fucking mountains. Any of the Arti 
So our objective is on the other side, but we'll try and run around. I have served Doris, princes, kings. Only the most well healed grace this boot. Oh, I, I fucked that up. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. I was thinking I need to blend, but I was remembering that blending isn't in this game. At least not the way it is in Assassin's Creed 1. I need to find like a group of people to walk around in. But it's okay. I just beat some dudes up, it's fine. Yeah, you better fucking back away. <laughs> How far can I make him go? <laughs> back away, buddy. Oh, nowhere left to go. Ah, okay. He doesn't care about me anymore. He's just gonna have a sit down and think about what just happened. Hi, buddy. Ah, Ezio. What up? Trovato. How are you? Come sempre. I have a letter for Messer Lorenzo. I'll see that he receives it when he returns. Returns? They've gone to Villa Careggi, I'm afraid, and not expected back for at least another day. I'll let my father know. We are literally just the mailman at this point. The errand boy. I have to say though, this first act of the game is such a good... It's such a fucking upgrade over the first game, by the way, in terms of storytelling. Like, it makes us care about the character. It really sets up the kind of landscape that he's going to be working in. It's like... I assume Assassin's Creed 1 was a little bit criticised for its narrative. It's like, if if that did happen, it's like they took that to heart and just like hired a whole bunch of writers. Keep up the good work. Beast, get all. He <laughs> called him a penis. You worry too much, Giovanni. Francesco Di Pazzi is in prison. The threat is ending. Let's rob my own family. Ah. Hello, son. You remember my friend Uber? Good morning, Gonfaloniere Alberti. To you as well, young man. I trust you delivered the message. See, si, padre. But it seems Lorenzo is out of town. Hmm. I did not anticipate this. What does it matter? Just so text you him. wait another day or two. Listen, your mother and sister have been looking for you. I'll need you again in a little while, but for now, see if you can't help them. Are you sure? Yes, now if you'll excuse us. Good to see you, Ezio. When you think about it, the opening to Assassin's Creed 2 and the opening to Assassin's Creed... <laughs> fuck. The opening to Assassin's Creed 2 and the opening to Animal Crossing City Folk. Weirdly similar. <laughs> you know? Just running hey, errands. Claudia. How are you? Bene. You shouldn't keep things from me. <sighs> it's Duccio. What of him? I think he's been unfaithful. Who told you this? The other girls. Let's go fuck them up. I thought they were my friends. Harpies. You're better off without them. I loved him. No, Claudia. You only thought you did. He should suffer for what he's done. <laughs> that turn. Right here. I'll go have a word with him. She goes from being sad to being angry at the drop of a pin. It's terrifying. But rightfully so. Let's go fuck this guy up. Where is he? Uh... Over here. Oh, right. Yes, I forgot. In the remastered version, the map is very laggy and horrible to look at for some reason. It's just a glitch that I guess they never bothered fixing. So, you know, a glitch. <laughs> I don't know how many patches uh, this game got, but if that crash at the start is to be, uh, to be any indication, maybe not as many as it should have. Ah, oh, they make climbing up to the rooftop so much easier in this game. It's time to realise, like, I was going on about how well Assassin's Creed 1 has aged. I might have been too generous. <laughs> Playing this back again, I'm like, oh, this is such a big improvement over 1. Because I don't think they made any uh, gameplay adjustments in the remaster. Pretty sure they didn't. Duccio! 
It's beautiful. Nothing but the best for you, Amore mio. But what of Claudia? I thought you'd been promised to her. The father said I could do much better than an auditore. Oh, fuck. Now he's going down. Ah! Virbante! Come, let us walk a bit. Walk? I had something <laughs> else in mind. Oh, Duccio. Mm. Mm. Oh, Duccio, this. Hey, Lurido Porco! Ezio, my friend. Ah, Get fucked. You insult my sister. Parading around with this puttana. What are you talking about? I saw the Bit gift me. you gave her. Or the things you said. Maybe your sister shouldn't be so stingy with her virtu. You broke her heart. Ha! And now I'm going to break your face. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think but you when are. when it comes time for action. Ha! You'll regret ever opening your mouth. I could have taught your sister a great many things. She's lucky to have had someone like me. Well, this is an easy fight. Basta! <laughs> Stay away from my sister! You tell him it's here. Beat up episodes now available. Yay! I guess I would have done all of those on the PS4, huh? That would assumedly be part of uh Of the platinum. I don't remember doing them. Though. So maybe they're not. It's another viewpoint. You know I gotta get it. Piece of candy. Oh, it's over there, isn't it? Oh, it's all the way up there, isn't it? It's the big one. Although I think you might get an achievement for that one, actually. I can't quite remember. Let's find out. There's one around here where you climb up super high. Ah, oh, it's probably that one. Still. Okay, I feel like there's a couple of things I could grab onto there, but maybe not. Maybe bloody not. Uh ah, you know what, sod it. Let's just do missions. Yeah, Florence, by the way, not only one of my favourite locations in a video game, but also one of my favourite game soundtracks. Just like the atmospheric background noises of Florence. Divine. Fucking love it. Which reminds me, I was in the middle of creating a gaming atmospheres playlist. By which I mean like, just soundtracks which are supposed to be background noise for when you're exploring like an open world or something. And I didn't get very far off it. But I should, I should continue that. That faithless husband of mine is cheating. I know it. As do all the neighbors. Please teach him a lesson for me. Can do. Wait, this was one of the main side missions I had to do, right? Flies. Seems a bit random, but sure. Go Maybe it's a side it. mission. Oh well. Fresh caught leeches today. Ooh, fresh caught leeches. That is tempting, but I'll have to pass you up on that for now. Maybe we'll get some of your fresh caught leeches another day. Do, 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 do. do tailors have any outfits for this version of Ezio? That would surprise me. But it wouldn't be completely out of a question. No. Oh, I can... <laughs> I think this is like a Ubisoft Club thing, but I can dye my clothes. I can give myself this outfit in this act. That makes no sense. I should not be able to do that. I'm not going to do that. Thank you very much. Don't want to don't wanna break immersion. An assassin? What's that? I don't know anything about that. I'm just Ezio Auditore. Youth. <laughs> oh, Eagle Vision, that's right. I had Eagle Vision in Assassin's Creed 1, and I swear I never bloody used it. Because he didn't really need to. But in this one, they actually make you use it. Which is, uh... You know, better. Good day, sir. Let me introduce you to my fists. Smack him, smack him, smack him, smack him. How'd you like that? Donato, if she wins, I give up. That bitch. I mean, wonderful wife of mine. I'll go home. 
sure. Very convincing. Hey, look, treasure. I like treasure. Ooh, Chivo. Macho man. Defend a woman's honor. Okay. So, hang on. Are these, like, main memories I need to do? I think they are. I think this part of the game is literally just, hey, go side quest for a bit. I'm guessing they're on the roof. Man, I am hungry. I haven't been hungry in a while. Which, obviously, first world privilege, I know. But, um, I've been eating so much crap lately that I just haven't been that hungry around meal times in general. So it's actually quite a welcome feeling right now. <laughs> um I guess they're not on the roof. Is there is there a hay bale anywhere? There is. Thank you. Where the heck am I supposed to be talking to someone then? On the other side? Maybe on the other side. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely not. Oh, is it because um, they're inside? Okay. I see what I've done. I see what's going on here. Just realized those yellow puddles. They're pissed. Oh, hey, Petruccio, how's it going? What are you doing out here, Petruccio? You should be in bed. I want those feathers. What for? It's a secret. If I get them for you, will you go back inside? Yes, I promise. Anything for you, Petruccio. But I'm just doing it this once, okay? I wonder if there's an alternate universe where Ezio falls and breaks his neck. <laughs> Petruccio then, uh, then feels guilty. Somehow this ends up on <laughs> with him becoming an assassin. <laughs> wow, okay, now I'm just showing off. Look at my hopping skills. <laughs> Yay, I did it. Yeah, while a lot of the free running is a lot better in this game, it has been iterated on a lot since. And sadly, getting down from roofs is still kind of a pain in the ass compared to modern games. No, oh, you don't see me. Oh, well, they saw me. I love the counter for unarmed combat. Just fucking punch him in the stomach several times. It's gotta be painful. Hey, how's it going? I'm back. Got your feathers. Here, as promised. Grazie, brother. You still haven't told me why you want these. I will, in time. He's trying to build a bird. Actually, I don't know why. And I must have completed all the feathers for the platinum, but I don't remember why he wanted them. I, mon I wonder if it's ever said. Hello, Madre. Buongiorno, Ezio. Buongiorno a voi, Madre. Come state? Sto bene. And you? Still recovering from last night? I have no idea what you're talking about. Of course not. Anyway, I have an errand to run. I'd like you to join me. Con piacere. Come. It's not far from here. Let's go meet Da Vinci. Uh, spoilers, we're gonna go meet Da Vinci. I'm not gonna give any major spoilers, I by the way. Just in case fight. anyone happens yeah. to be watching this as, like, their first time run through the game. Doubt it, though. Per piacere. Let's not play this game. He spoke ill of us. I could not allow him to continue. I'm sure he's having a hard time dealing with the accusations against his father. Francesco Di Pazzi is many things. 
and none of them good. But even I never suspected he'd be capable of murder. What will happen to him? I imagine there will be a trial. Will father speak at it? He'll have to. He's the one with the evidence. Still, I wish there was another way. You've nothing to fear. Everyone wants justice done. It is an unfortunate state of affairs, but it will pass. Hey, could you walk a bit faster, please, Madre? You're very slow. Here we are. Yay! Our objective. Hello, Leonardo. Madonna Maria. This is my son, Ezio. Molto honorato. L'onore è mio. Let me go and fetch the paintings. I'll be right back. He's very talented. I'm sure he Imagino. is. Imagino. Self-expression is vital to understanding and enjoying life. You should find an outlet. I have plenty of outlets. I meant besides vaginas. Mother. Back to your house then. Ezio, help Leonardo, will you? So Ezio, what do you do? He's been working for his father. Ah, you're, <laughs> ah, you're unemployed. For now. And you, art was it? Truth be told, it's been difficult for me to settle. Painting is nice, but I often feel like my work lacks, I don't know, a purpose. Does that make sense? I'd rather contribute more practically, more directly. Architecture, perhaps, uh, or anatomy. I'm not content merely to capture the world. I want to change it. Oh, Leonardo. I have no doubt you'll go on to do great things. Vi ringrazio, Madonna. That's kind of you. Yeah, he'll probably be do all right. Never heard of him. Thank you for your help, son. <laughs> Don't let me keep you from your other duties. Hey, <laughs> duties. It was nice to meet you, Ezio. I hope our paths cross again. Anchio. Sure they will. All right. More story. Oh, Ezio, come in, son. He had no eyes for a second. That was weird. I need these packages delivered to associates of mine in the city. I also need you to retrieve a message for me from a pigeon coop not too far from here. How do you know it's there? I'll get it done. That's a bit weird. Come back here when you're finished. There are some things we need to discuss. And please, my son, stay out of trouble. Hmm? Trouble? That's my middle name. I mean, staying out of trouble. That's my very long middle name. Okay, sure, let's do it. Let's read this letter. Ah, oh, it would be wrong to open it. He must have realized I read the last one. Wait, what about this one? Duh, oh, he sealed the letter again. That's okay. I... I feel like I shouldn't have this issue, but like... In games, when there's like a massive chunk of text that you can read at your own pace, but you have to sit and listen to a voice actor act it out. Like in Elder Scrolls Online, that happens all the fucking time. I get really impatient <laughs> and annoyed, so I kind of have to like look the other way and not read the text. I don't know if anyone else has that issue, but... You Giovanni's kid? No, idiota. He just happens to look exactly like the man. Not exactly. Leave it here. Don't worry, boy. We're not contagious. At least I'm not. It seems like, who the fuck? <laughs> do, 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 do. Whoa, hi everyone. You weren't here a second ago. That that was weird. Didn't like that. My immersion. Oh god, my immersion. This way. Oh right, a pigeon cube is up here. <gasps> oh my god, 
He's climbing. That's like some kind of weird superpower. Oh, you're not a pigeon goop. You're a man. I have a delivery from Giovanni Alatore. Yes. Were you followed? No. Why would I be followed? Give me the package. Tell your father that they're moving tonight. He should as well. Who's moving? What's going on here? Wait! Come back! Explain yourself! I wonder if that was some sort of mercenary. I don't know why I would think that. And a chicken, not chicken coop. <laughs> Your messages wouldn't get very far if it was a chicken coop, would they? Pigeon coop. It's a very polygonal uh, pigeon, I must say. Wait, what? Okay. I guess they did continue doing the camera angle stuff in this game. It was just called contextual camera. So I mentioned in Assassin's Creed 1 that they kind of dropped that after this game, but I guess not. Alright. I will be right back. Because I stay too hydrated on stream and take many toilet breaks. Better than not being hydrated though, am I right? Stream is back. And so is it here. Or at least he will be. When I press resume. Alright, let's do this. Go go gadget, it's here. <laughs> I'm sleepy. I've been sleepy for the last few days. I think it's because it's just so warm. I think the warmth makes me sleepy. Alright, we gotta get back down there. Down you go. Don't die though. There we go. That's how normal people get around, right? Father? Federico? Serezio, thank God. What happened? Where is everyone? They took your father and brothers to the Palazzo della Signoria, to prison. And my mother, my sister. Ezio. Claudia. Are you all right? Yes, but mother. She's in shock. They, when she resisted. It's not safe here. 
Is there some place you can take them? Yes, yes, to my sisters. Good, do that. In the meantime, I'll go see my father. Be careful, Messer Ezio. The guards were looking for you as well. Right, things are getting more serious. We now have a notoriety meter. So I say let's take to the roofs. Because luckily there don't seem to be any guards on the rooftops at this point in the storyline. <laughs> Unless they have now suddenly taken to the rooftops, but I don't think they have. Because I don't exactly have any weapons to, uh, to counter them, so... They just decided to take the, the week off of guarding rooftops. Or maybe it's you and his brother are the reason that they start guarding the rooftops in the first place. Maybe they were like, we haven't had to do this for 300 years. And then this bastard came along. Started ruining everyone's tiles. Is that more people pop in? I think I saw more people pop in. Oh yeah, we gotta get up there, haven't we? I was gonna say, I didn't realise they had some kind of electronic lighting back then, but no, that's just the objective. <laughs> Looked weird. Alright. Ye oh wait, hang on a minute. I'm not gonna be able to get up there, am I? Hmm. I guess I go this way. Ah, this is a pain. Uh, can I? Yeah. I remember strats. Oh, there's a feather over there. Okay. Oh, there's a guard right there. Gotta be careful. Yeah, I guess, uh, I guess I'm just supposed to beat him up if I see him. Not too clear on that. Unless you just fail and it sends you to a checkpoint or something. I don't remember how it goes. And I'm not going to remember because I just fucking did it flawlessly because I'm a boss. Is this one of the only games that has a moon in the skybox that isn't absurdly large? I mean, I think it's still a bit larger than it should be, but only by a little bit. So many games overestimate the size of the moon. Hey, Dad. It's you. Father. What's happened? Took a bit of a beating, but I'm all right. What of your mother and sister? Safe now. An enter too. Yes. Wait. You knew this would happen? Not the way it did, and not this soon. Doesn't matter now. What do you mean? Explain. There is no time. Listen closely. Return to the house. In my office is a hidden door. Use your talent to find it. My evil Beyond vision. lies a chest. Take everything you find inside. Much of it may seem strange to you, but all of it is important. Do you understand? Yes. Good. Among the contents is a letter, and with it some documents. I need you to take these documents to Mr. Roberto. He was with me in the office this morning. The Gonfalonieri, I remember. Now please, tell me what's happening. Are the Pazzi behind this? There was a note for you at the pigeon hole. It said, go at you. Go now. Lucky there was a haystack there. Otherwise, I would have broken my damn back. Wait, is this not like a restricted area anymore? On the map, it doesn't show up as a restricted area. Okay, so I know I'm supposed to run home now, but actually, what I'm going to do is uh, climb back up and get that viewpoint before I go anywhere. Uh, we've got the plinky plonky music again. Boom, 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 boom. I'm not sure you can hear it too well because the uh, volume is pretty, pretty low. I might just turn the volume up a little bit because the music's very good. And if I can barely hear it, you can certainly barely hear it. We'll go 7 out of 10. That's better. I can actually hear it now. I don't know if you guys can, because you're at minus 6 decibels, but again as I spoke of on a previous stream. That's not exact because my PC volume is only 66% and that's not what you're hearing, etc, etc. I'm very high up. 
But hey, no matter how high you are, when you fall, as long as you land in a bale of hay, you're perfectly safe. Someone should have told Gwen Stacy that. Maybe she should still be alive. I love this game so much. Oh, I went past it. Alright, everyone. Say goodbye to young, innocent looking boyhood Ezio. We're about to get the outfit. Hmm. Father said there was a door here. That was easy. It's almost like I already knew. If you found a secret compartment and you found this in a chest, would you wear it? Would you just put it on? Surely that would seem like some weird crazy superhero outfit to you, right? Even back then. Also his hair looks super weird until he pulls his head up. <laughs> it's clearly his hair texture beneath the hood. But yeah, here we go. I had to bring this to Messer Roberto. I look super inconspicuous now, right? Just makes no sense to me. Sealed again. Just makes no sense to me because I would have been way more inconspicuous just walking around as I already was. Nobody looks like this. Nobody walks around like this. Traditore! Hey, what's with the swords? Aren't you supposed to arrest me? No. <laughs> what do you want then? Or are you to die? Oh, hey, I don't think, uh. Well, that's not going to happen. So why don't we explore other options? There are no other options! I can't remember if his swordplay gets a bit better later on. His animations look slightly clunky. But yeah, look at us. We're wearing the, wearing the damn suit now. We're wearing what Ezio wears. How delightful. It's like we're playing Assassin's Creed 2. Yeah, I'm just going to keep running, thanks. Oh, sounds like you lost me. Where could I have possibly gone? I do like that they show you the area where they will be searching. So, you know, if you leave that area, you're pretty much safe. Alright, get down. Get down. There we go. It's your auditory. What are you doing here at this hour? It... I, I don't... Wait, child. Take a breath. Collect your thoughts. My father and brothers have been imprisoned. I was told to bring you this. Ah... Uh, I see now. It's a misunderstanding, Ezio. I'll clear everything up. How? The documents you've given me contain evidence of a conspiracy against your family, and against the city. I'll present these papers at their hearing in the morning, and they'll be released. Thank you, Signore. Of course, my child. Do you need a place to stay? You're more than welcome here. No, grazie. I'll meet you at the piazza. Don't worry, Ezio. Everything is going to be fine. What a kind man. See, everything's gonna be fine. This is actually the final act of the game. Everything just ends up fine. And then the game ends. No more Ezio game. I don't know why everyone's so enamored with Ezio, you know? Like, it's such a short game. But everyone's crazy about it. Well, let's just go there. Let's just heckin' 
go there. Ah, oh, really? There's no uh, bales of hay to jump into. That's annoying. Down we go. Oh, well, we might as well get some money while we're here. Money, money, money. I assume it's money. It is. I don't think it can give you anything else at this point in the game, to be fair. Alright. Let's, uh, head on over. Whoops, that's a guard. Let's go this way instead. Must be a drunken wager or something. Ah, that's what it must be, you're right. <laughs> I really hope you didn't hear that on stream. <laughs> Wait, why are we over here? I forget what happens at this point. Okay, alright. It is just the walk up to the area. Well, this doesn't look good. But that's okay. He's going to present the evidence. Giovanni Auditore! You and your accomplices stand accused of the crime of treason. Have you any evidence to counter this charge? Yes, the documents that were delivered to you last night. I'm afraid I know nothing of these documents. He's lying! He is lying. Closer. In the absence of any compelling evidence to the contrary, I am bound to pronounce you guilty. You and your collaborators are hereby sentenced to death. You are a traitor, Roberto, and one of them. You may take our lives this day, but we will have yours in return. I swear we will! Oh. Father! Hey, grab the boy! He's one of them. I'll kill you for what you've done. Guards, arrest him. Well, that didn't go well. And here I thought we were about to get to the end of the game. <laughs> I automatically tried to counter that, by the way. <laughs> Better run, boy. And fast. <laughs> it's the guy from earlier. I forgot there's like a heavy guitar riff in this soundtrack, that's weird. Ah! I thought I was safe. Ah, the world is just designed to be so much more like, traversable as well. Go, run, go, and we're safe. I did it. I escaped. I got 30 game score. And that's sequence one. That is the opening of Assassin's Creed 2. Ezio got it rough, man. They even killed Petruchio. He was just a little kid. It's fucked up. I've got a little request for you. I've identified several strange markings that I've discovered right across Renaissance Italy. Now, I don't know what they're doing there, but I want you to help me find out. Rebecca has marked their general location in the database with an eye icon, and she's made them glow as well. Keep an eye out. Alrighty. That's, uh, that's something I should talk about, actually. Serezio, thank God. I've been looking everywhere for you. I, I couldn't stop them, Annetta. I tried, I swear. But there were so many guards. Please, come with me. We need to get you off the streets. What if my mother and sister... They're safe. 
I'll bring you to them. No. It's too dangerous for us to travel together. Tell me where to go and I'll meet you there. My sister's house. Just north of the Duomo. I'm on my way. So as far as the, um... As far as, like, the, the what you call it, the conspiracy thing, uh, which is part of 100%. Sadly, that does unlock an extra part of the story at the end of this game, uh, but I'm still not going to be... Ooh, there's lots of guards on the roofs! Okay, let's not go by the roofs. Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, um, I'm probably not going to be doing that. Uh, so it's kind of bothersome because it does tie into the whole Subject 16 storyline in the end, but it's just so much work and I'm just kind of trying to get through the main story of the games. So I'll fill in the blanks as we go throughout the later games, but it's nothing too crazy that you unlock. You can, if for some reason you're watching this and it's your first time experiencing the story of Assassin's Creed through these streams in this Let's Play, um, you can go and find the complete video that you basically unlock like online. Somehow familiar. Could be a man. Somehow familiar, yeah, no one else fucking looks like me. He disappeared? <laughs> he disappeared? Where could he have possibly gone? Well, that's it. He's disappeared. That's the end of that. Wow, guards are dumb. Anyway, yeah. Um, I might be overstating it actually now that I think about what it unlocks that video it's not it's called the truth I believe it's not too relevant to the subject 16 stuff actually but um, there might be something like it in Brotherhood I'm not sure I just remember feeling like by not doing it the story felt kind of patchy um, but having done it in a previous playthrough I will talk about it when we get to it Oh, that is impressive. Though Rex. Why am I familiar? Hmm. Questions. Never mind. <laughs> I totally didn't lead anyone to this place. I think we have the wrong building. No. No, this is it. It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance, Messer Ezio. Annetta speaks quite highly of you. I can see why. I appreciate the kind words, Madonna. Ti prego, call me Paola. Thank you for offering your home to my family, Paola. It was the least I could do. You must be tired. Perhaps you'd... No, grazie. I can't stay. Why? Where are you going? To kill Uberto Alberti. I understand your desire for vengeance. But the Gonfaloniere is a powerful man. You are not a killer, Ezio. Spare me the lecture. But I can make you one. And why are you going to teach me how to kill? Oh, I'm yeah. not. I'm going to teach you how to survive. Come. I was going to say, Ezio kind of is a killer, but sure. Discretion is not yet, obviously, but... Profession. We must walk the streets freely. Seen, but unseen. You two must learn to blend like us and become one with the city's crowds. My girls will show you how. Hey, just walk into them. Wow. Now I'm invisible. You can practice with me anytime. So flirty. <laughs> the soundtrack is fucking iconic. I don't love it though. It's just very like, ooh, suspense is going on. Dum, 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 dum. Uh, yeah, the problem is there's no fucking groups to walk with. Um, I guess I'm just supposed to blend here as I go past them. Which is kind of dumb. There is a mission with this background music. And I have a clip of it. It's a very old clip now. I think it's when I was playing on PC, maybe. And there's just this line of dialogue which is just burned into my memory because it's what you hear when you're doing the stealthy bits. Uh, 
and I was just having such trouble with it. It should be on this channel if you're watching this on the VOD channel. It's called Ezio Legendary Master Assassin or something like that. And it's just me getting very frustrated as I continually fail the mission, so similar to some of the stuff you saw when I was streaming through Assassin's Creed 1. But of course, uh, I get it in the end. <laughs> That's a fun outfit! Another mask tonight! Yeah, a little bit faster, please. Oh, jeez. So many guards everywhere. I remember playing this when I was younger. And then, because I was still in school, obviously, when I first played this. And I would, like, walk around in school, like, f <laughs> thinking about how I could, like, blend in and be stealthy and shit. <laughs> I bet other people did that, too. And, like, I wasn't doing anything that would have, like, I hope I wasn't doing anything that would have looked stupid, like, obviously trying to be stealthy or whatever. Like, I wasn't, like, sliding up against walls as I was going down corridors or anything, but... Just something about the way Ezio walks around and how he how he stealth walks in groups and stuff like that. I was definitely trying to emulate some of that at some points in school. Bene. Now that you've learned to blend, I'll show you how to use it for more than just moving around. Let's teach you how to steal. Oh, I already did that earlier. Thief! Thief! Once you've stolen from someone, Ezio, you mustn't linger. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, well that's not going to help me run away from the person I just stole. Stole from. I did it. I stole money. This will help me murder. How am I doing? You can go now, girls. Oh, do we have to? So innocent. He's cute. Now that you have learned how to approach the enemy, we need to find you a suitable weapon. What would you have me use? Ah, but you already have the answer. Hey, my father's blade and bracer. How did you get them? <laughs> By using the same skills I've just taught you. It's what, you pickpocketed exactly it from my wrist? I assume you're familiar with Leonardo da Vinci. See, si. but how does a painter factor into this? He's far more than that. Bring him the pieces. You'll so see. something I just realized? I shall save it for when it happens Before in the I go, cutscene. One last question, if I may. Of course. Why have you given your aid so readily to me, a stranger? I too know betrayal. Ooh, so mysterious. Alright, let's go see Da Vinci and then I'll say the thing I was going to say. It's not a big spoiler or anything, but I just don't want to keep talking about story cutscenes before we get to them. That would be silly. Now that I've learned how to be stealthy, let's just fucking hoof it. <laughs> oh, or not. <laughs> unfashionable? Fuck you, I look awesome. I look super cool. Uh, let's try the roofs again. How we're we looking up here. Cool, not too bad. Right. How far away is this damn objective? Uh, I would love to, but there's a block of data in my way. Da Vinci, why do you live so far away? It's frustrating. Um, also, is that a viewpoint I see? Oh, it sure is. Let's get it.
Oh, something I should mention, I've decided to start putting googly eyes on all of my thumbnails. I went back and added googly eyes to all the Altair thumbnails. Just because otherwise they look very generic. It's just something fun to make them stand out a bit. I was going to mention it at the start of the stream, but I completely forgot. Alright, Da Vinci. Help. Leonardo. Oh, Ezio Auditore! I I didn't expect to see you again. Thought you were dead. With all that's happened. Ah, where are my manners? Welcome back. Now, how can I be of service? I was hoping you could repair something of mine. Of course. Come, this way. Ah, che pasticcio. Tutto santo giorno che cerco. Let me clear a space. All right, let's see it. Fascinating. I don't know, Ezio. Despite its age, the construction is rather advanced. I've never seen anything quite like it. I'm afraid there's not much I can do without the original plans. Mi dispiace. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> what are you doing? The contents of this page are encrypted, but if my theory is correct, based on these sketches, it may very well... He's so intelligent. It may very well what? Please, sit. Leonardo, I... Shh, shh, shh. Remarkable. If we transpose the letters and then select every third... There. It's finished. Huh? What's finished? The blade. I managed to decode that parchment of yours. It showed me exactly what to do. Now all that's left is to remove your ring finger. Really? I'm sorry, but this is how it must be done. The blade is designed to ensure the commitment of whoever wields it. Bene. Do it quickly. <laughs> I was only having fun, Ezio. Though the blade once required a sacrifice, it's been modified. You can keep your finger. So here's what I was going to say about this scene. We just saw in the end of Assassin's Creed 1 that Lucy doesn't have that finger, meaning that she uses a hidden blade and is an assassin. But as early as Ezio's time, 14 something something, 76 maybe, uh, they've already figured out how to make it not chop your finger off. So is it just, did she just do it as like a, like a test of faith or something? I don't know. They probably on it or something later. Boop. Incredible. Yes, it is. Tell me, do you have other pages like this? I'm sorry, only the one. Listen, if you ever do happen across another one of these, please, bring it to me. You have my word, and thank you for fixing this. It... By order of the Florentine Guard, open this door! Do you recognize that voice actor? Because he's in Skyrim. A lot. <laughs> uh, just a moment. Wait here. Are you Leonardo da Vinci? Si. How may I be of service? I need you to answer some questions. Certainly. Certainly. <laughs> what seems to be the trouble? A witness claims to have seen you consorting with an enemy of the city. What? Me? Consorting? Preposterous. I would never when consort. When was the last time you saw or spoke with Ezio Auditore? Who? Non fare il finto tonto. We know you were close with the family. Perhaps this will help to clear your head. Don't push him over. Uh, oh, that's me. Ready to talk? That's What rude. about now? Well, uh, I'm not having any of that. Uh, you stop kicking my friend. That's technically Ezio's first kill, huh? I always thought his first kill was our first target, but no, he just kills a random guard Grazie, first. Ezio. Sorry about that. And he's just fine with it. Uh, I've grown accustomed to their abuses. What of the body? Bring it inside and put it with the others. Others? The city gives them to me for research. Alrighty then. Come with me, sir. Hey, look what I got! What do you think of this guy? 
Okay. Well, enjoy your evening. I see it's got some heavy breathing. By the way, when you're moving with him, he looks like he's alive. That's weird. See? Like it never happened. Thank you, Leonardo. For everything. Anytime. And remember, if you find more of those strange pages, bring them to me. Should they contain new designs, I will upgrade your blade as well. Of course. Now, I really should be getting back to Paola. Porgile i miei omaggi. We can do the stabbies now. Hooray! I feel slightly less naked. Oh, whoops, I was looking at my phone. Well, I guess I'm going to have to do some uh, hidden blade combat. Ah, uh, you know what, at this point, since I don't have a sword, let's just run. <laughs> Where was I meant to be going again? It's not showing up on the map anymore. Wow. Okay, that way. Do, 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 do. See, if you could have done that in Assassin's Creed 1, it would have made all of those horrible informant missions so much easier. back. You were gone for quite a while. Leonardo likes to talk. That he does, but I trust he did more than talk. <laughs> oh, did it want me to press a button? I've given you the spirit. <laughs> oh, well. Leonardo's given you the blade. All that remains is the deed. Where can I find Uberto? According to my girls, he'll be attending an unveiling tonight of Verrocchio's latest work. It will be held at the Santa Croce Cloister. Watch over my mother and sister while I'm away. Of course, Ezio. As if they were my own. Alright, let's do it. Let's stab a bastard. Before I do that, I spy an eagle perch. And I'll be damned if I let this city stay foggy. We must unveil all the map. Well, okay, not all of it. If you saw my Assassin's Creed 1 playthrough, you'll know we'll do some of these, but not all of them. <laughs> Just enough to kind of like uncover what's relevant to us. And then, uh,. After we stab this dude, that'll probably be the end of the stream. But I think we've got a decent amount done in both games. <laughs> this is kind of annoying. Alright. Let's assassinate this dude. Oh, the quick walk button, how I have missed you. Boop! That man is dead. Unfortunately for him. Oh, okay, I thought I was going to jump up onto that, but I was not. I must go this way. The lighting got a bit flickery. Yeah, some of these textures are flickering a bit for some reason. Because it's one of the best remasters ever made, obviously. So, uh, anyone with epilepsy, do be careful if you're watching this. I don't know if that's strong enough to really set anyone off, but. Where do you think he's from? Yeah. I am from Vengeance. Alrighty, let's do Again it. Again with this. You have overstepped your bounds, Uberto. Who are you to speak of bounds? You, 
who have crowned yourself Lorenzo di Medici, Principe of Firenze. I've done no such thing. Of course not. Ever innocent. How convenient. At least now, we see how far your reach extends, which is to say, nowhere at all. It has proved a valuable lesson for me and my allies. Yes. Your allies, the Pazzi. Is that what this is about? Be careful with your words, Lorenzo. You might attract the wrong sort of attention. Oh no, they've gone into that heavily guarded building. How will I ever get in there? Well... Let's enter a group and blend. Please, there we go. Don't mind me, I'm just one of a crowd. I am but a humble monk, even though the monks in the city wear brown. So it kind of undoes the whole wearing a monk's disguise thing. Me and the squad heading to the bar. Man, if only I had double hidden blades, they would be no problem. Oh well, maybe later. So how am I? Oh, I see I hire them, don't I? Use them to distract the guards. Uh, oh, okay. I was gonna say. <laughs> I was gonna say I needed them a little bit longer, but we good. Well. I trust ah, yes, you this mission actually. Indeed, a nice distraction from that nasty business with the auditory effect. To think I once thought of Giovanni as a brother. No, blame yourself. How could you have known that he was the plan? I want to hear some this conversation like first, Adam. Let history forget he ever even existed. Hmm. Yes, I should. If you'll excuse me for a moment. No, wait, hang on. Where's he gonna go? You! Me! Fuck you! Fuck you! You would have done the same. To save the ones you love. Yes, Not sure, what if? I would. Oh. And I have. Okay, it's you. Would. The auditory are not dead! I'm still here! Me! Ezio! Ezio Anditore! Not very stealthy, Ezio. We're gonna have to work on your stealth tactics, buddy. Assassino! Typically, when you assassinate someone, you don't want to then scream and shout about who you are and the fact that you're still around and stuff like that. That tends to increase your notoriety meter pretty quickly. I get it, though. He angry. Oof, took some damage there. Oh god, I think this is the area where I do that mission later and it's really fucking difficult. Oh well, that's Lata's problem. By the way, I like how uh, his hand was all bloody from when he stabbed him with a hidden blade. That's something that doesn't seem to happen a lot in these games. There's just like no blood stains on them. I mean, I guess in the Origins, uh, he gets blood stained a lot, but... In this game, at least, it's like, or at least in the first game, it was very like, wait, wouldn't he have like blood stains on him, and wouldn't people be able to like pick him out from a crowd because of he had blood all over him and shit like that? Been pretty good at dodging the guards on the floor so far. Ah, I'm a fucking master at this shit. It's almost like I've played it three times before. Oh, 
I think it's best I leave Firenze. Where will you go? My uncle Mario owns a villa near Monteregioni. You're still a wanted man, Ezio. What would you have me do then? I've seen posters all across the district. Tearing them down will help the city forget your face. No doubt the Herald's also inside the public. Bribe them, and they'll speak of other things. Or you could hunt those who bear false witness against you. They traded dignity for coin. Their loss would not be mourned. Do any of these things, and you should be free to leave. Okay, let's do that then. Let's basically just get to the end of this act. I've added a program for tracking notoriety. This little meter will help you know how far you are between notorious and incognito. Ah, I see it. I see it. This will help you know if you should watch your actions. It'll also tell you if the notoriety level is part of Ezio's memory or not. I think there's also a mission to get uh, your mother and sister out of town after this. But after like the opening few acts, I don't remember everything quite as like perfectly probably. It all kind of blends together a little bit after that. There'll definitely be moments where I'm like, oh I remember this, but I won't quite remember it as word for word as I do with this stuff. Get out of here. Hell yeah. Incognito, baby. Ezio who? Never heard of him. That guy who's always got hay coming off of him when he runs around. A guy who's always hiding in hay bales. Never heard of him. Bentornato, Ezio. Were you successful? Yes. Madre? Ezio! Where have you been? They wouldn't let us leave, and Mother, oh, she hasn't spoken a single word since we left the house. Father will need to sort things out. Where is Father? And Federico? And oh, you haven't fucking you? told them yet? <laughs> hmm? Something's happened. What do you mean? No, it's impossible. Claudia. No, 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 no. I did everything I could, Pichina. <laughs> Listen, right now what matters is getting us all someplace safe. But to do that, I need you to stay focused. Do you understand? Good. Will you watch over mother for me? Then we are ready. Thank you again for everything. Stay safe, Ezio. Stay vigilant. I suspect the road ahead is yet long. Out of the dirt, Alright, let's go. This way. I mean, I'm incognito, right? I should be able to pretty much just jog out of here. Go away. Okay, I'm going. Let's not go that way. Do, 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 do. Didn't actually mean to uh, pickpocket there, but oh well. Segue me. Wait, what? Oh, you want me to throw money here? Why? How do I do that again? Ah, there we go. Oh no, it's just telling me I can. Why was there an objective here? What's over here that I need to do? Nothing, I guess. I guess it's just a checkpoint. Oops, all those guards pop in. 
Again, just with Assassin's Creed 1, it's just the wide open areas. And then let's just hire some courtesans. Work right. your magic. Stay put. Okay, I guess I only need one group, but that's fine. Uh, guys. On me. Come on. <laughs> Let's go. Let's get out of here. Let's go. How could this have happened to us? I don't know. We I guess we're taking the, these ladies with us. Know. They still with us? Yeah. The more the merrier. Let's go. This what way. will happen to our house? I don't know. Were they... Were they given a proper burial? Yes. They were. Were they? I feel like he's lying about that. Either that or that's some kind of deleted scene. Sequence 2 complete. Hurrah! Vengeance! It tastes so gamer school. I, I think now they have us do some modern day stuff, but when the cutscenes are done, I'll probably call it. <sighs> oh! I guess they don't have us do any modern day stuff at this point. I thought they did for some reason. Is there not a mission where we walk up to this place? Yeah, there is. Okay. Alright, this is where I'm going to end it for the stream, man. So, thank you very much for watching. Today we finished Assassin's Creed 1 and got pretty decently through uh, the beginning of Assassin's Creed 2. So uh, our series stream through is going pretty good I think, but this is the end. Thank you for watching. If you watch this on YouTube, uh, leave a like if you like the video. If you watch this on Twitch, feel free to drop a follow so you know next time I'm streaming. Uh, in the meantime though, I'm gonna... I just noticed it said zero decibels above my mic, and for a second I thought that meant that even though I could see the green bar moving, that you couldn't hear me, but pretty sure that's not the case. That's just saying I haven't adjusted it to be quiet like this. Look, I'm so quiet now. Okay, that's enough playing with that. <laughs> uh, thank you for hanging out. I'm gonna go end the stream now. I'm gonna go eat some food, uh, and uh, I will be back at some point soon to continue Assassin's Creed 2. <laughs>